Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can use System Restore even when your computer doesn't boot. Now, if you've got a computer that's got an error message, something like this on the screen, i.e. a blue screen, or the latest blue screens that you see with uh, Windows 10, you can still recover that system even though it's not bootable. And I'm going to show you how to do that. All you're going to need is either a recovery CD or a Windows CD or uh, an MS Start CD, any one of those, and you can restore your system using the System Restore feature as long as you have the System Restore feature enabled. Now you're going to have to make sure that you enable that on Windows 10 because by default it's disabled when you uh, first install Windows 10. So that's one of the first things that you should be doing is enabling that System Restore. So let's take a look at how we can go about doing this. It's a very quick, simple video, but it should help people solve a lot of issues with their computers if they're non-bootable, okay? So let's get started. So I'm gonna quickly boot the system up to our Windows CD. Now, whether you've got that on a USB flash drive or a CD-ROM drive, just uh, make sure you change the boot order to boot to that uh, drive, okay? So on restarting the computer, we're gonna tap F2, or the delete key and this is going to allow us to enter our BIOS. Your BIOS may look different to this but once we use our cursor keys to move to the boot tab we can now move up and down with our cursor keys. Now if you've got the UEFI BIOS you can use your mouse and select the CD-ROM drive or the USB flash drive depending on what uh, device you're booting to. So if you've booted into a Windows CD or a recovery CD or a MS Start CD, I'm using MS Start push F10 and it will boot to that device. As you can see here, I'm booting up to my MS Start. Need to uh, select United Kingdom and then hit Troubleshoot. And now we can hit uh, the advanced options here and then move into the System Restore tab. And that's going to allows us to select our operating system, which is Windows 10 in this case. And now the system restore will open, as you can see. Now we can push next, and now we can select a restore point in here. Once we've selected our restore point, push next, and then finish, and this will start our system restore. Now you have to remember in Windows 10 System Restore is disabled by default. So you must enable that first and create a System Restore point otherwise this won't work for you. Now hit restart. And now we can boot up to our computer. Put in our username password. And then once we've done that we can boot up to the desktop and as you can see the system restore has been successful and you should now be back up and running. Now you can use this method if you've got uh, uh, malware on the, site, on, on the system or you've installed a piece of software uh, that's got corrupted or a driver that's got corrupted or something like that. You can use this method to restore the system back to a working state and it's a lot better than uh, formatting the machine. As you can see here, this one's worked out okay. So I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. It really does help. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. If you've got any video requests or problems with computers or anything like that, you can always head over to the forum and join the community. And uh, if you want to join my Facebook fan page, the information is on the screen right now. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.